Hey guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty. Today I wanted to take you guys through my wallet so you can see my envelope system. Now, I'm going to be honest, before I started serving, I wouldn't have been able to put all of that money aside at the very beginning of the month um, to do the envelope system that way. But I would sort of keep a running tally mentally, so it's like, I would know in my mind I can spend $40 a week on groceries. So. If your budget's really tight where you know you're only going to get um, a certain amount every week and you need to put it towards bills, just make sure that you're still budgeting out how much each week you can get for gas and groceries and make those priority. Don't be like, oh, well, no, I need to pay my bills first. No, you need to feed yourself first. Don't go crazy. If you're really poor and you really need to pay that bill, Go to the 99 cent store and get some pasta and spaghetti sauce and you'll be great. But yeah, just make sure you're keeping track of it mentally if you can't do an envelope system. But I'm going to tell you, envelope systems are awesome. I just started it for the first time last month and I loved it because, again, I was able to pull out all the money at the beginning of the month just from my income that week and put it into envelopes. And then just check it off. I don't have to keep track every time I go shopping because I just have the money in my envelope and when I'm done, I'm done. Now, you have to be careful with that if you don't have experience. But again, because I always kept track and budgeted $40 a week for groceries anyway, it, it just worked for me to do it that way. Um, like I know how much I can get each week at the grocery store. Um, and if $40 sounds low, I mean, it's definitely doable. I also just occasionally will get fed other places, like background work you usually get fed on set, um, and I babysit, and sometimes I get fed there. So $40 is plenty for me. Trader Joe's is where I shop, and it's they have a lot of stuff that's really, really affordable and delicious. So anyway, to the business. I actually made my envelopes at home for cheap. Um, I made the first set of them with some of my roommate's construction paper and then for some reason she threw it all away. So I had to buy some more, but I was able to find this little potato head construction paper um, at the 99 cent store. So 99 cent do-it-yourself envelopes, not bad. Um, and you can see I just sort of, I didn't even take the page out, I just sort of traced my old one and cut it out. So I did about like half inch around each edge of a dollar bill so that it would fit comfortably in there. I started out with, I believe, four categories and now I have six. So first I'll just show you, this is my wallet, it's a little Disney theme. Um, I, I did not spend money on this at Disney because I'm sure it was very expensive, but my cousin bought it for me for Christmas and it's actually perfect for trying to do an envelope system like this because it has, it's like, it folds out like this and it has the little pockets on either side. I have my cards here, so it has like my sag after card, my driver's license, my credit card, which I need to cut up. Um, I don't even know if that actually is in here. I've lost track of that. Um, and my debit cards, insurance, stuff like that. Um, and then it has the little coin pocket in the middle, except for I always have to be careful because if I leave it undone, all the coins will just spill out in my envelope, not my envelope, my wallet when it's closed, like the whole thing is closed because it, it's small so it can, the coins fly everywhere. Anyway, to the point of this, um, so here are my envelopes and you can see, yeah, they're just made out of different colored construction paper. I wrote with them in colored pencils. So this one says food. Um, fun, which is, I mean, my fun, it's my eating out slash fun money, because usually when I'm eating out, it means I'm with friends, so it might be we go to dinner and then a movie, or something like that, um, or like we're bowling and eating, or, you know, things like that. Right now, I don't even have cash in there, I just have some free bowling coupons that, um, one of the families I babysit for gave me, which was really nice. Um, gas, miscellaneous households which was an, a new one. I didn't have that at first, and then I realized I really need it because various things like paper towel, toilet paper, all that stuff, it's always going to come up, and I don't want to have to take it out of my grocery money, especially since I have $40 a week for groceries. Um, and then Ronnie. Ronnie is actually my cat. He is adorable. 
he's wonderful. So he needs some money. Um, and that was a new one too. And I just have to put about like $15 a month in there because my roommate shares the cost for him. Um, this month I spent the $15 um, as you probably will have seen in another video on a little birthday party for him because he's two now. Um, and then by the time I work up enough money to pay for another batch of food and litter, it will be my turn again. Next month is um, my roommate's turn, so I don't have to worry about it yet. And then I also have a deposit envelope because as a server and babysitter, I get paid in cash a lot. Um, and it's better to just have it, I really like having it in a place where that's where it goes. And I know I'm going to deposit it because otherwise it's just money laying all over the place. You don't know if you've lost some, you don't know anything. So those are my envelopes. And what I did, I just, I don't know if you can see, I stapled three times on one side. The other side I just stapled once so that I don't like rip it trying to go in and out all the time. It's just, it's open, it opens fairly easily. And I can just keep the cash in there. And then yeah, so those are all my categories and they just fit perfectly right in here because this wallet is also just probably like an inch on either side of a, of a dollar bill. Um, so it fits perfectly in here and I can just flip through. Whenever I am actually at the store and I pull money out, I usually just put the change right in the front here so I'm not like digging through and organizing and holding up the line for people. Um, so then as soon as I get home, I take the cash out of here, put it back in the envelope that it belongs to. And that way too, if I say I go to the 99 cent store and I get two things of food and one thing household, like shampoo, um, I can make sure I took it out of the proper envelope um, and make sure everything's been counted properly. So that's my envelope system. My sister actually said it's sort of similar to Rachel Cruz's, but I know she just uses clips. I really like this better because it's just a nice little colorful addition to my envelope and it's cute. I like it a lot. So anyway, that's my envelope system. It's really easy. Um, all it costs is staples and construction paper, which like I said, 99 cent store had construction paper, so it was perfect. All right, I hope you guys like that. If you have any other suggestions or tips for envelope systems, let us know in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.